everyone, this is Omnix Angel and today we will discuss how to install MC Command Center for The Sims 4. MC Command Center is a mod created by Deadpool, which is a very helpful mod that I do recommend. I believe every simmer should have this mod. It has an autosaver, which is a great tool, and a lifesaver sometimes, especially if you forget to save your game periodically. So, but there are also a wide range of options down to even adding some story progression. I can touch base in a future video of all MC Command Center has to offer if you would like me to. But today I'm going to tell you guys how to install a mod. So first you need to download it. So you would go to the website and underneath where it says releases you would find MC Command Center 5.2.5 and MC Woohoo 5.2.5. These two are the most recent ones as of this date, which, though by the time you're watching this video, those numbers might be different, but that's okay. The install should still be the same. When you download the mod, you need to extract it. So, I use WinRAR. You might get prompted to pay, but you don't really need to pay for it. You can see why I just got prompted. So we're just going to X that out. The extraction program is completely up to you. You can use what works best for you. As far as Mac goes, I'm unsure if the installation is the same on a Mac, so I will post DP's Discord server and a Mac-related server in the description as well. If you need help with installing on a Mac, please feel free to join the servers. You must have the mc underscore command center dot package and dot ts4 script file when you download these uh, mods so the rest of them are based on the individual functions that you are after personally myself i just grab them all including mc woohoo we're gonna tell it to extract which with one rar you basically highlight what you want and then tell it to extract to and you choose the one that you want you choose the file you want it to distract to now the file that i want it to distract to isn't there so we're going to tell it where to find that file so i've basically opened up my sims 4 mods and i'm clicking mc and i tell it okay mc woohoo is the same as far as extraction goes now that we've already extracted to MC, you'll see that that is now the top option. If you are upgrading, then you will need to, before you do that, you will need to go in and delete every single folder, um, every single file, except the MC underscore settings dot config or the MC underscore dresser dot config. If you don't use the dresser settings, you will not have that one. Now, second, this is probably the most important part. MC Command Center is a script mod. What this means is this cannot go more than one folder deep. So you can only place it in like mod slash another folder. So in my case, it's mod slash MC. You see the folder path right here. Okay. Now, if you were to like, say you wanted to put it a second folder deep, then it will look like this where it says mods career related and then MC. It's not going to work that way. Or um, like a third folder like that. It wouldn't work that way at all. Okay, so you want to make sure that you only have it one folder deep. If you place it too deep, then the mod will not work as The Sims 4 will only look one folder deep. The same holds true for any script mod. I will do a video in the future on how to tell what a script mod is, but for now, a good rule of thumb is if it has a .ts4 script, it's a script mod. Or .py, .pyc, I don't know what the new Python extensions are. Third, make sure if you have not run scripts or an update recently that you enable your mods in the game. I have a video that can help you with this. Uh, check the description for that video if you don't know how to enable mods. If this is an upgrade for you, then you should delete all of your MC script and package files. But you can leave your settings, which we've already discussed. But your folder should look like mine right now, if you did this correctly. Now, if you want to start over fresh, it is okay to delete the settings or your config files. So, it would be okay, but delete 
deleting them will only reset your settings, so we recommend you don't do that unless you don't mind going default and trying to start over new. If you need help, there are resources to help you, so if you have any problems, then you can join the server or check the website for help, which, as mentioned, will be in the description. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me your favorite feature of MC Command Center. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, keep in mind, I do take requests. So, if you have any MC-related videos you'd like to see in the future, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and enjoy MC Command Center.